hi guys all right so let's jump into today's video and then let's start um let's go into photoshop and then let's go to file let's go to new and then once it pops up we'll set a dimension that we want to use now i'm going to use 2000 here 2000 here i'm also going to set here to pixels set here to 300 for maximum resolution and then here pixels per inch rgb color because it's just for social media handles when i'm ready to um you know print it i'll set it to cmyk and then let's just call it thanksgiving flyer you know we're in december and so these are some of the flyers that we'll be designing a lot um, in this season okay let's click on create and then um i don't know why it's black <laughs> but then let's go here i think i know why it's black yeah set it to black let's go here let's set it to white okay and then maybe let's click here click on the delete key and then let it go let's go here let's come to new guard layout click on it set here to six set here to six if you cannot set it to six click here and click here it to set to six six and then click on the margin to set it to 0.3 across board and click on okay now i am doing this because i want to work within this margin just in case i want to print it our background and then let's go and pick this one drag it into photoshop and release it here now hold shift and alt depending on the version of photoshop you are using and then drag it somewhere here i think this is good and i'll also go and drag this one into photoshop as well and then leave it somewhere here maybe leave it somewhere here like this we can always come back to work on it more and then give it a layer give, click on your brush right click and choose your brush go here choose a soft round brush and then make sure your opacity and the flow is 100 uh, let's set it to color white and then make sure your caps lock is off and then increase the size a little bit and then click somewhere here click there again okay okay so you just want to click on your move to and then move it somewhere here and then reduce the opacity a little bit now if i be asking why am i doing this i want it to it adds some more to it, it adds some more to it i don't know how to explain it but it adds some more to it okay so let's call it bg so let's see so you can see how it feels like some glory some is awesome man all right so let's start with our theme let's click somewhere here and then let's pick this and then let's paste it over there now we're going to use three fonts in this particular video all right and the first one we're going to be using is Montserrat so let's click on or let's go and look for Montserrat awesome now we cannot see it and so let's just use a color that we are more comfortable with is zero b three c six e uh, is the book i'll be using often and then you also want to set here to black you want it to be as bold as possible and then the font size over here let's set it to 58 also over here the tracking uh is this a <laughs> this is a legend okay so now i can't set it over here i don't know why my photoshop is like that so i'm going to go here to properties and then over here i'm going to set it to 53 enter great now control h for the lines to show control t to transform it and make sure i put it in the middle another thing you want to do is make sure you go to paragraph here and set it to middle aligned now control t and then put it in the middle okay now this is great also you want to come here the vertical over here or yeah vertical set it to one one zero okay, that way stretches it up a little bit and then double click it let's go to stroke and then the stroke the size over here let's set it to 33 let's push it so you can see it 33 over here now the over here let's set it to outside the bending mode let's set it to normal opacity let's set it to 100 okay and then um it's cool let's click on okay now we cannot see it 
but it's there it's there and it will it will begin to show up very soon let's put it in the group control g oh that is the shortcut that i have set so you can put it in a group and then let's call it theme now double click it over here and then the layer starts to open this time you're not going to use stroke you're going to give it another one you're going to give it drop shadow you see all of a sudden it gives it some beautiful effects over here and this is the settings you want to use you want to set here to multiply all right now you also want to click here set it to color black awesome click on ok now the opacity over here set it to 16 and then over here the angle over here set it to 158 you want to shift it over here you see that the sun is over here you see i put the light over here shining over here so if the light is coming from here the shadow is going to be here so definitely you want to put the shadow over here as well and then the distance let's set it to 57 let's set this uh, spread to two and then the size over here let's set it to one two two okay so it is there but it's just faded nicely also click on use global light all right now over here click over here and let's choose this one okay so i cast it across uh, like it this way and then click on okay and so this is amazing so far but we also want to give it a layer and then clip it to it pick your pen to set here to shape make sure the color over here is color white and then make sure your caps lock is also off click here click somewhere here and then just drag it like that come here and then come here and then come here right that is it and give it a mask now come and click on your brush set your opacity and the flow to 100 make sure you are using a soft round brush and then over here the opacity over here we need to reduce it a little bit okay so let's set here to 33 nicely and then let's set here to 62 uh, it's not coming let's set it to 62 okay now we can click here and set it to color black all right remember we are still using our brush click here set it to color black okay and then just mask it like that that is all just mask it like that okay, let's control h let's see now it gives you some nice effect in there the more details you give it the more beautiful it looks all right now you are done with this the theme we also want to bring in some few text over there let's bring this one and let's paste it over there drag it up right click it release <laughs> there is no release here all right so what you're going to do is you're going to drag it down like that and then you're going to drag it up again yeah it solves the problem we are still using mont Sirac for this one and then we are going to use medium over here and then the font size over here we are going to use 11.6 let's see how it looks like uh, it looks quite great and then the tracking over here let's set it to zero and then let's see let's set here to 100 awesome click on your move to let's click on paragraph make sure it's middle aligned as well control h to bring the lines control t to bring the transforming this thing and let's put it somewhere here now let's zoom in the reason why i'm zooming in is because i want to use this okay and i'm going to set this to color black now i am going to duplicate it by clicking on ctrl j ctrl t to transform it again let me close this one hold shift and alt and then move it this way now hold shift and alt and then move it this way yeah enter and then drag this on top of it come here paragraph come here and then click on 
quiet okay this actually character so let's put everything in a group and then let's call it come dressed all right so at least by that I'll, I will know what I'm so let's control T let's see what is in the middle let's put it in the middle and then control T as well let's see what is in the middle let's put it in the middle as well all right so let's calm down i think it should it should be in caps i don't know what do you think let it be in caps and then let's see how it looks like okay let's zoom in and let's keep it to the middle of the rectangle okay ctrl h and ctrl t it's the middle aligned that is awesome so we are done with this one let's bring in the time and then let's pick this one let's paste it here the time now the time let's click here let's pick color black for now because of the spacing between them like this it's, it's making it more nice let's use Montserrat still um, let's make it bold because we want it to really stand out and then the font size over here let's make it 20.5 the tracking over here let's keep it zero okay now i want to work on the leadings but as usual i'll go to the properties over here and i'll find the leading over here and then i'll give it 17.9 now it comes closer to it i like it like that and then let's see what else can we do to it okay so this is quite bit let's go here to paragraph and then let's give it awesome I'll move it somewhere here then I'll type over here and then I'll pick 18 and then I'll paste 18 over there now with 18 I'm still going to use Montserrat okay and I'm still going to make it bold and then over here I'm going to make it 27.9 and then I'm going to keep it white but, but not yet okay not yet if I let me keep it somewhere here I want to use this to really align <laughs> everything okay so all right so 18th here duplicate the 18th and bring it down here maybe just maybe I shouldn't make it the 18th all caps let me click this let me take this one off and even this one let me take this one off okay so let's come back to the 18th over here let's double click it and then let's pick December all right so something like that now with this one as well we're going to keep it bold but the font size over here let's reduce it to 14.4 all right and then remember you're going to work on the color very soon so let's pick this one and then let's draw it like that awesome double click it and pick this color over here and drag it underneath this one okay now pick this and this and then let's move it somewhere in the middle using our eyes go here pick the color here let's set it to color white okay and then this one let's bring it closer to it now let's put them all in a group and let's call them date time control h and then control t and then let's middle align it and let's drag it up all right so we have it like this let's see how it looks like this is awesome and then let's type somewhere here let's pick um let's pick end of year and then let's type it over there now this one we have to drag it inside <laughs> this one yeah inside this one okay and then let's open it make sure this is off make sure this is also off uh, now let's come over here and then we are going to use a font called billion dreams 
I set here to regular the font size here let's set here to 36 but we can't see anything so let's work on it let's click here let's set it to f35008 this orange color and drag it down ctrl h and ctrl t make sure it's in the middle of it okay so this is great maybe let's go here and let's push this and then this one up a little bit okay all right so this looks great this looks great so we are done with the end of year thanksgiving service come dressed in white at a date and a time now also i am thinking of um adding the venue to it somewhere here okay so let's pick the venue here and then let's place it here as well now we are going to use montserrat for this one as well or even change it a little bit let's see um montserrat for this one and then let's set here to bold the font size let's make it 10. let's set the color to color black the track into zero and um, let's go to the legend over here let's set it to 10 let's see okay and then let's go here and let's set it to middle aligned Control H, Control T, and keep it in the middle. All right, so this is also quite great. And then um, the logo, the logo, the logo. Let's tap over here, and then let's pick this and paste it there. Now we want to use left aligned for this one let's go to character we are not going to use montserrat for it we are going to use cambria so c a m b cambria okay so cambria regular over here and then let's set here to 10 i think 10 is good let's set here to zero and then let's click here to make it bold um let's see let's set here to 10 as well doesn't really make a difference i track into zero i think everything looks great this way okay so let's go and then let's bring our icon or our logo um <laughs> whatever it is ah, all right so let's bring it closer to it now we can't see anything so let's double click it and then let's go to color overlay set it to color black and then okay now let's zoom in and then drag it closer to it that is it put it in a group and then let's call it logo this one let's call it venue now let's see the position of the logo um the position of the sorry let's position of the logo mm -hmm. i think this is great the position of the logo is quite great this is good now let's also bring our contact as well let's bring our contact and let's paste it there and then let's work on it now for the contact we are using montserrat let's use semi bold all right let's set it to 7.4 we don't want it too big and then over here let's set it to 1500 so there it will be too lengthy remember let's set it to bold over here as well color black like i said and then um let's see maybe let's make it all caps over here too let's take this one off let's see all right so i like it this way control control t and then rotate 90 degree counterclockwise control h to bring the lines and then drag it to the middle here like that all right so let's put it in a group let's call it contact 
and then let's close it and then let's add our handles over here let's pick this one let's paste it there make sure the tracking here is zero awesome and then let's set it to um, Cambria set here to regular set it to 7.4 the track let's set it to zero make sure uh, let's take this one off let's make it all bold color black over here over here the laden let's set it to 6.2 all right let's go here let's set it to left aligned let's zoom in and then let's go and pick our facebook and drag it in there holding alt and shift let's resize it drag it there and then select both of them and put it in the middle now listen to this guys there are some little tweaks that makes it awesome you want to make sure the same size here is the same size here okay now it sounds funny but it's consistency and it works it makes your designs nicer these are little tweaks that professionals do okay so kind of do it the same size the same size here you could also even make it the same size here and the same size here as well all right but remember you are just using the gauge of your eyes you don't need to use any willow or anything like that now i think we are done with this we're done with everything okay so let's put it in the group let's call it facebook f f facebook all right let's go over here and then let's go to gradient map and then let's click here and then click here go to photographic toning click on ok come here and pick this one it is called copper 2 click on it click on ok go over here set it to soft light and then ladies and gentlemen we are done creating this particular flyer now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well remember i love you all merry christmas in advance peace